Spirit of M has spoken with three brothers in Worthing about their experiences fighting in World War II at the same time. Ted, Stanley and James Hayward all left home to do their part, along with their other brother George, who sadly died at the age of 80. The eldest, 98-year-old Jim, was 22 when he joined the armed forces, eventually going on to the 82nd West African Division. Got initial training in August 1941. I uh, was we, put on a ship, no idea where you're going. And after about three or four weeks, we turned up to Freetown, West Africa. Servicemen and women have been separated from loved ones to fight in conflicts all over the world. And Jim was no different. I had to be dragged into the war. It wasn't very pleasant for me because I just started courting my wife at the time. I'd known her for one year and then I had to go. But when I was in England, I was sent home on leaves. And in 1941, I got married. Each brother fought in different regiments, but they often crossed paths. The youngest, Ted, who's now 91, was particularly keen to keep in touch when he joined at just 19. I did write a letter to Stans, secret letters, because when I got to Camilla, there was a, there was a restaurant there which all the soldiers used to go to, and I happened to send because I thought it might be censored and asked him if he was anywhere near Piccadilly and he picked up on the information that I give him and straight away started looking for me and Stan was standing outside my tent when I came back. Ted was part of the 20th Battalion Royal Fusiliers and 2nd Buffs 36th Division which took him all over the world. To be quite honest I was on more boats in the army than I was actually on land I think going from one country to another. The specially trained troops of Lord Louis Mountbatten's 14th Army Regiments from every part of Britain, from the Highlands to the home counties. In terms of like the whole experience and coming back home afterwards and seeing your brothers, I mean, how was that? Marvelous, marvelous. Because we're all we all a well knitted family, if you know what I mean. We like we can't we can't contact. Jim comes down here often. Stan moved down here, lives around the corner. As a reminder of what they'd done for their country, all three were awarded medals for their bravery, including the Burma Star. To be quite honest, you've got no time to fear for it. I mean, it's all, it's all going on. All you're worried about is getting out safe. I mean, I suppose everybody fears for it to a certain degree. Everybody should wear a poppy. I mean, there's a lot of people died out there in this lot. So you should all pay your respect to all those that died.